we're at the beach. It's Memorial Day. And yesterday there were so many people, they, they shut the bridge so you couldn't come over here. So it should be good, I don't know. We're swinging the fisher today. So uh, let me get set up here and uh, we'll get going. I'll turn the camera on when we find something. Been searching, haven't heard a single sound out of my detector yet. So, I don't know. We're swinging though. Hopefully. I've been wearing my headphones too, but it hasn't helped. I was thinking I maybe wasn't hearing the targets. So we're gonna keep on moving down the beach here. The tide is going out for another, I don't know, two hours or so, so. There should be some fresh drops out here. We just haven't found any of them yet. Let's keep looking. All right, first signal. We only have three tones on this machine. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Headphones only, so. I took them off, they're around my neck. High tone with a little mid-tone chirp there. Right about there. Let's see what we get. It's more mysterious using this machine. It's still down in the hole. The Equinox always gives us an idea of what it could be. Nope. It's still down there. Oop, I just hit something. Liable to be something like sunglasses. Never know, whatever it was stopped me short when I was digging. In there? No. I'm hitting it right there. Hopefully we'll get it on one of these scoops. Oh, it's heavy. No. Oh, that sand is building up on my on my scoop here. Let's pinpoint. It should be right there. Uh, Water is coming in. There. It's in there. scoop. I guess we'll risk washing it in here. It's something big. It's a pain.
pink one. I don't know what it is. I know it's got ports and things. Hmm. We'll take it. We'll figure out what it is later. That's it. I don't think it's a cell phone. I've got something behind us here. All right, let me fill this in. Let me shut the camera off and uh, we'll regroup on the next target. All right, we finally got a signal. I've walked a really long ways. But right here, we're getting a high tone. Let's see what it is. Still there, let's try the pinpoint. Let's say it's right there. Oh, I see something right there. That's it. I don't know if that was something small or not. Let's walk it up here a little bit. And then we'll take a look at it. Might just be a penny or something. It looked kind of coppery. But it didn't look big, but I saw. I don't see it. Oh, it's stuck in my scoop. Shield penny. Brand new one. So we're on the board finally with a coin. Huh? Get back over here and fill this in. There's somebody metal detecting right there. All right, let me fill this in. Let's check it. That was it. Let's keep going. All right, we got something here. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's been really quiet. I mean, I got one penny and that little, whatever that little electronic device is. And I've walked almost to the pier. I got it out of the hole. Switch to pinpoint. friend the dream squasher I don't have any discrimination on my machine right now so we're hearing everything but there's nothing to hear it's been really extremely quiet down here which for me is hard to believe as many people as are here so I don't know this is the second low tide of the day though, so it's possible there was a bunch of people out here this morning and they just did a clean sweep on the beach. Don't know. Let's get back in my groove. Let's keep going. I don't know if you can see that one. It'll get your attention. I might be on pinpoint still. All right, some kind of keychain. We'll take it. It's something. All right, let's keep going. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not. 
it's a uh, it's a low signal like iron I'm gonna dig it just because we haven't been digging anything out here I gotta put my headphones back on Probably just an old piece of bling jewelry. It's junk. Alright, we'll bag it. It might stay in there. Let's check it. That was it. I really can't fill it in, but it won't last long. Alright, let's keep swinging. I don't know why it cuts you short. Hi, Dennis. I found your YouTuber, Brian. Have a good night. <laughs> Alright. Got something here. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Let's uh, take the headphones off. I hope you can hear that. Right there. Sounds like a mid tone. That could be something good. Oh, it is something good. I see it right there. That's all right. I think that's a good one. All right, let's bag it. Everybody I talked to today had been finding rings and I haven't found hardly anything. That was a good one. Let's check it. Back in my groove. Let's keep going. All right, I don't know if you can hear this. Sounds like a high tone. It's right there. I don't hear it. Oh, it's out. in here somewhere. Hmm. It's in there somewhere. I see something right there. Is that it? That is it. What are you? Another pistol bullet. I keep finding pistol bullets out here. We'll bag it. Check it. That was it. Fill it in. Alright, let's keep going. It's getting dark. Alright, I'm not sure if you're going to hear this. Got a high tone right here. It's getting dark. It's out. See it? Looks like a dime. Yep, it's a dime. 
Let's bag it. Check it. That was it. Swim it in. Comes the water. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Let's do a quick wrap up. I did this on a few days ago, so I'm going to do my best. <laughs> um, I've been just tied up with a lot of stuff. We got two pull tabs, a couple of bottle caps, one piece of foil. Oh, we were we were using the uh, Fisher CZ21, which I didn't have any discrimination on, but this is just was a lot of people out there metal detecting, um, picking up a lot of stuff. Uh, phone charger or some kind of little charging pod. I don't know if it's any good. I haven't tried to plug it in. I'm, I'm just letting it dry out. And a piece of what looks like maybe a bling earring or something. Not much left of it. It's junk. Another pistol bullet. I've been getting a lot of these out there. One keychain. It's just chrome. Got some initials on it. It was right on the surface if I remember correctly. Only two coins, one dime and one penny. And then we found a fat little gold ring. And it's little. I mean, it it just about go to my pinky. But this thing is, is very heavy. Um, I brought my scale out to show you. There we go, in grams. 9.5. That's pretty heavy for a ring that small, but it's just thick. Um, it's 10K, and uh, it's got like a panther or something on it. I'll put up a couple of close-up pictures of it for you. And this is our second gold. And when we found the first gold ring, it's been about a month, I think, ago. We started. I started keeping track of the trash that I dug in between gold rings. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. Let me uh, let me turn the camera off and clear this off. And oh, and there's one other thing we're going to do quick. Let me clear this off and I'll. I'll be right back. All right, so from the last gold we found, I started saving all my trash. And this is what we've dug between. There goes some of it across the floor. There's some sand in there, too. That's pretty much it in there, other than some sand. So that's how much trash. That's how much trash I've dug in the last month in between gold rings. Quite a bit. And then I've got a bigger bag over there that is, I think is from just this first, since the first of the year. So I'm going to add this back to that. And uh, the can is empty, so we'll, we'll go on. But yeah, in between the last gold ring and this gold ring, that's how much bottle caps and pull tabs and stuff I've dug. So don't get discouraged if you go out there and you start digging a lot of trash and think that's all you're finding. There is a lot of it. And then when you least expect it, bang, out pops a nice piece of, nice piece of gold. So I'm going to leave it there. Oh no, I can't leave it there. Hold on another second. Let me turn the camera off one more time. All right. The other night I was answering comments and somebody mentioned the, the wore out coin that we found in the last, I think, well, oh, it was the last video. I'm a couple ahead and I get a lot of comments on them. So, but yeah, there was a little thin, smooth coin I looked at it with a loop. I couldn't see anything on it. And someone had suggested 
um, that it might have been out of a clad dime or something, the copper, and I hadn't ever thought of that. But I came out here and I looked at it, and uh, the, when I found it, I just kind of set it aside. But um, I got the light out and did the old light trick on it, and if you look, I hope you can see that. I'll put some pictures up in my little sweeper broom here. Um, but if you get it turned around just right, you can you can see a blinking on there. And that lets you turn it to where you know where to look for the date. And if you look real close, I'll see if I can get a picture of it, but it ends in 14. So, best I can tell, it's a 1914 wheat scent that's probably been out there in the surf most of its life. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's that. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm still trying to put it together. Um, been working on my little blue car. We got that den all straightened out. And now we're, uh, we're back. And uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff. And miss the next one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.